You did it, Joe. You're going to be the next president of the United States. Miss. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black and neck on. Welcome to another King of Reeves video. Better late than never. That's what they say. Can they go have to forgive me for the dry chicken from Old Lady Gay? Why well, you over here complaining about some Chick fil A? But what's going on, y'all? We got a couple of things to talk about in this King of Reeves video. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all enjoying yourselves. Girl, we have got some stuff to talk about. Because when I saw that video of Candy, I immediately was like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, what is wrong with you rich celebrities? Like, I just, like, y'all need to read the room. But, like I said, I hope y'all are enjoying y'all day. We got that to talk about. We also got, whoo, T.I. just took his foot in his mouth once again. It's just black male rappers, once again, sticking their foots in their mouths. It just seems like I'm always talking about that each and every day. Girl, this bitch. Carry out. Then we also have Van Jones on TV crying because he feels like he's gonna be saved. Decency is coming back to the presidency. Girl, it's a mess. It's a mess. But we're gonna drag it. We're also gonna cover Miss Eva Longoria, who is trying her best, who will try her best to erase the work of black women. Sounds very, very on brand. This is about to give Gina Rodriguez uh, a run for her money. But before we get into all of this, Let's go ahead and get into this mental check-in. Mental is, girl, y'all don't even want to know. It's not honestly a bad thing, but I'll be honest with y'all. Baby, but up. Seems like everywhere. I am, uh, I am like thinking about this push, 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 push to vote. We got to get Trump out of office. We got to vote. We got to get him out. We got to get him out. Da, da, da. All this push that we was doing. And a little bit push that I was doing, only for us to turn around and these folks start calling things illegal ballots or illegal votes or and, and saying that they're not going to accept what the election is, saying and what all of these things. I'm just like, y'all cannot be serious with me. So we have an administration who is not interested in, in reality. They just warped their own reality. Whatever they want it to be, now I can make my own reality. It's really giving me Thanos type of tease. And it's not funny. As much as we try to joke it off, as much as um, Joe Biden tried to joke it off when he was talking to folks today, like, it's, it's, it, is, it is really, really kind of scary. It is really, really scary that the fact that y'all are telling us that in order to get democracy, to, to, in order to get these things, we need to vote. Now we voted. Now they're saying these votes don't count or that don't count. Then you got Lindsey Graham on TV telling us. And Mitch McConnell and I need to come up with an oversight of mail-in balloting. If we don't do something about voting by mail, we're going to lose the ability to elect a Republican in this country. I thought the Democratic process was taking everybody's vote. If this was going on in any other country, we'd be sending the FBI, we'll be, well not the FBI, we'd be sending the CIA, we'll be doing it regardless. But it's just like... What is the tea? Like, this is, it's really, really bothering me. Like, I see why so many other countries hate this place. I see that now. Because we talk all this mess, and then we essentially doing the same shit. So, that's what's in my head. I'm just really mad. I'm just getting mad watching these folks who about to, just about to croak. Um, you had Mitch McConnell choking trying to talk about Donald Trump has every right to do what he needs to do. It just irritated me. It just irritated the hell out of me. So I don't know what y'all are doing. Maybe I need to give me a sound bowl or something or not get ring your cure, but that ain't gonna be enough. I can't get enough moon crystals. Or moon, I'm calling moon crystals, crystals. I can't get enough moon crystals to be able to make me feel better because I'm still gonna be like, this is the reality. But uh, this is America, come on. But that's what's bothering me. Other than that, my mental is doing really, really good. Um, I'm thinking about some stuff that I'm wanting to do. Um, I know that everybody should be getting their masks for those who ordered your mask after Friday. You should be getting it later on this week. I shipped out some Thursday and Friday. Shipped out some more tomorrow. But I hope that you all are getting them. My friend sent me a picture of it today. He looks so handsome. Look at him. Yeah, he's so handsome. So if you have a picture, uh, you got your mask, take a picture, a video, send it to me. Tag it, post it on Instagram. Tag it on Instagram. 
Kinga Reeves, post it on social media, post it on Twitter, tag me in it so I can post it on the YouTube video because y'all look so amazing. He said he got so many compliments on the mask. I think we have like less than 10 masks left. So if you're interested in getting them, you might want to go order them now because they're going to be gone faster than this. But I'm still here because we got a couple more left. <laughs> but no help doing good. Let's move on to the tea for today. Girl, I've been talking and talking and talking and talking. But let's talk about something. Let me go ahead and just go and dive into Eva Longoria, who was on MSNBC um, and discussing the outcome of the election with President elect Joe Biden winning the election and becoming our 46th president. But he hasn't been sworn in. That's not to January the 20th. And girl, we got a long. 70 something days before that happens. I'm already irritated, okay? So Eva Longoria thought it was important for her to say that the real heroines of this democracy are uh, Latinas. And <laughs> like, I'm looking at the margins in Florida, I'm looking at the margins, like there is work that's going on in um, Arizona. There definitely were some um, some Latina uh, organizers on the ground that was getting um, the Latinx community registered to vote, like all that. Uh, but there was a lot of work that was going on in Georgia. Like everybody was out here saying Stacey Abrams' name. Everybody. And even Longoria, like instead of just like embracing that black women were out here doing the work, she came and said the real heroine. So she's, it's just like, it was erasure. Like, there's a way to say it. Like, there's a way to say it, but you, you can't erase the work. You can't. Like, yes, they were doing work too, but to say the real heroines. No, sis. No. Uh, and sis was giving Gina Rodriguez a, a run for her money by saying that. So she came back and she said, girl, look, I was comparing Latinas to their male counterparts but my wording was not clear and I deeply regret it. Black women have been the backbone of the Democratic Party, something we have seen play out in the election as well as previous ones. Black women deserve a standing ovation for the work they have done year after year. Again, sorry for the confusion and lack of context on my part. I can't accept that apology uh, because I'm not a black woman, but I'm glad that you offered them something because that was some bull crap. Black women was out here doing what they have been doing, quote unquote saving, um, the world or doing whatever they should not have to, they should not be doing it. And I really don't even like saying that um, because I'm questioning what is democracy when you have people saying that we need to stop these votes from being counted and calling votes illegal votes and making it harder for people to vote. So what is this democracy that you're calling? It's just, it doesn't, it ain't sit right with my spirit. Um, so even LaGuardia and Gloria deserve to get her ass ate up. A lot of celebrities got their ass ate up this week as they should. As they should, they just be just vomiting out of their mouth, just saying stuff. And you can just look at the stuff like, like all of the great black women who have been doing this work, like for forever. And still, like we got right now in the Democratic Party, we're right now in the Democratic Party, because I don't consider myself a Democrat, I'm an independent, okay? But you have an internal fight that's going on right now, because a lot of folks are trying to argue that, well, a lot of older politicians like your Clyburn, I can't think of his name, or the senator from, well, no, he's not, he's Congressman Clyburn from uh, South Carolina who was out here saying that's the reason why we lost a lot of these, these house seats is because y'all asses in this um, defunding the police and uh, Medicare for all and it's not a good um, strategy. It's not a good y'all out here with these slogans and these slogans are getting y'all ass whipped and, and AOC's like, girl, don't man, it ain't costing us no seats. We actually picked up and gained some seats because of that. Y'all need to figure out. So that's this internal fight going on and it's just like she is a mess like i've been following it's a mess right now but even Longoria, i'm glad that she apologized to black women black women have been out here doing this for a minute um and this is something that does not happen a lot for uh, like as red as georgia is for it to be flipped possibly flipping flipping like a burger at um in and out or what's the other place i can't think they have the terrible burgers in um, Atlanta, I can't think of the name. Oh, I can't think of them nasty burgers with the milkshakes and stuff. Y'all can think of it. But yeah, like, sis, we got to do better. But I ain't gonna spend too much time on Eva Longoria because she didn't seem to be spending too much time doing the necessary reading so she can understand what she was talking about. But moving on, Ben Carson tested positive for COVID-19. A whole neurosurgeon tested positive. Like, he just it, was at a couple of these events that, that the Trump campaign was throwing. 
and he has tested positive, as well as Donald Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, have tested positive. And a couple of other folks who work in that have tested positive too. That's all I'm gonna say on that. I'm not gonna give too much, but it's just, it's the idiot seed. It's the foolishness for me. Um, I'm just not understanding, like, wear a mask, stay away. I just, I just don't, I just don't get it. Like, I, I'm seeing the numbers of everyone. I think we reported a hundred or something thousand people have now, um, you know, tested positive for COVID. And it's just like, I'm still seeing folks like, we still doing the most, we still doing the most. Uh, and it's just like, when the, when, when, the, when the clown comes back to bite, don't be out here telling us, oh my gosh, it's serious. Like, the clown, she is biting, girl. She is biting and she is out here wrapping y'all up in them cotton things from um, the clowns from outer space. Wrapping y'all up in, 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 in cotton candy and sucking y'all dry. Like, sis, wear a mask, socially distance. Stop being in these crowded spaces with people if you can help it. I'm just not understanding. Somebody like with Ben Carson, just, just stupid. He, he, and I'm telling you, Ben Carson, if you was the croak tomorrow, I guarantee you they would not light a candle for you. I guarantee you they, they'll do you just like the ghost of, um, what's that man's name? I can't even think of his name. I mean, they don't even talk about him, and he died shortly after um, a campaign rally in Oklahoma. I think was it Oklahoma? Or was it was it was it Oklahoma? I don't know, remember what it was, but I just know he a ghost now. Moving on swiftly professionally. Let's talk about T.I. T.I. has been sticking his foot in his mouth. And honestly, I like since you trying to clean it up and I just don't see it for you. So let's first start with this. Jeezy said that um, he wanted to originally do a versus battle with um, Gucci Man, but he said Gucci Man, you know, politely declined and said, eh, I don't know about this one. So now it's gonna be Jeezy versus um, T.I., who are some of the like heavy hitters. So I can I can see that. Don't know if I'm gonna watch it. But T.I. stuck his foot in his mouth um, about this whole, oh girl, they texting me, about this whole situation with um, King Von who was murdered. Um, in a hookah bar in, a, in um, downtown Atlanta. Now, um, Trouble Man Harris had posted this on Instagram. Atlanta is a beautiful, progressive city filled with black excellence. Ooh, black excellence is going to be the death of us. That's why he's using this in here, not understanding. The, not understanding. We uplift each other and win together. Stop coming here to kill each other. That shit is played, played out management. Now, he posted this, and a lot of people thought, Sis, are you out here throwing shade? Are you out here trying to say something about King Von? Like, girl. Like, and a lot of folks were not here for it, including Waka Flocka. Waka Flocka posted this and said, hey, look, never talk down to people when you once was the person that you're talking down on, period. I don't give a what the scenario is ever. I'm talking about guys that come from the streets, not once they did. Bro, I don't care how far, far I get in life. I would never talk, look down on anybody in the streets or anything they ever do in the streets because I understand the laws and lifestyle that come with it. And when you don't understand like that, a lot of things you're not supposed to talk about. Baby, they is eating him. Waka Flocka eating him up. Uh, I think 50 Cent said something. Uh, 50 Cent had posted this and said, oh, I think that was, uh, hey, Trouble Man, you got to chill. You bugging for saying anything, bro, 50 Cent. They got casualties. This isn't real. This, this is real shit. I don't know what you're thinking, but we rethinking now. Now, 50 Cent had this to say, hey, Trouble Man, you got to chill. You bugging for saying anything. They got casualties. This shit is real. I don't know what you was talking about, but Rethink it now. They are hurting. They love that boy. He was a way out. I bet you don't even realize they will kill you for what you just said. Well, who are you from again? Come on now. It's quiet time. <laughs> Baby, when I tell you, if it's anything black men gonna do, they gonna take care of themselves. They gonna look out for black men. Baby, 50 Cent, 50 Cent, as much as disrespect he has done to black women, for him to come out here and just, like, these black men are useless. They are useless. Oh my gosh! Well, the black um, rappers, black male rappers, y'all are useless. Like, oh my gosh! Um, so they, they, whoo! Now, T.I. post this. I don't speak ill of my allies. My last post had nothing to do with King Von. Sure, y'all grossly mistaken. I have no motive or intention to do harm or malice to cats. I'm cool with my family heart goes out to them and express this to the people in his life that matter most in the situation. That's all I'm concerned with. Now, you cleaned it up because you know them folks are going to come for your neck. I, you ain't telling me, T.I., we ain't stupid. You posted that. Like, it, it, like since you can't be talking, you all, like, like, T.I., 
Like for real, for real. I'm glad that they, I'm glad they did eat him up. Um, I'm glad they did because it was just it didn't make any sense for him to even post or say any of this. When Ti, you are you were that same person. What what did Monique tell tell uh, Charlemagne? You know what, brother? You know that slave that took um, his his wife to his, to the master house and then came back and got her. You that you that brother. That's exactly who Ti Ti is. That brother, and I'm not surprised at all. Um, at, at some of the things like Ti, we really thinking he just because he didn't read a dictionary that he really understands things. Like girl, girl, like it's just it's it's a mess. It's the foolishness for me. Um, but girl, just say, say hey, brother, them you better get it together. Them folks gonna come for your head. <laughs> I bet Ti was like, let me get it together. But um, I did not know who King Von was. I didn't know what the situation was. I don't follow a lot of rap, uh, but I, I just that type of like violence is just not not ever okay. But it's just never it's just never a good thing, especially gun violence. Um, so a lot of folks are hurting right now, um, and like I'm okay with we scrapping on the street, like we fight. Like I ain't gonna lie. The other day, this weekend, if you follow me on Twitter, you saw me talking about it. But I had some neighbors. One of my neighbors to the right of me, I can't even wait to move out of this complex because it's, it's getting to the it's getting a little too ghetto for me. Uh, it's getting a little bit too a little bit too hood. It's just it's just always just mess. Like the trash is just not where it needs to be. Like people are just do like it's just it's too much. It's too much. Like you can just tell if you ever stayed in an apartment, you can tell like it's falling apart. That's what I'm saying. And I know some of y'all like, Josh, you can't get just moved yeah. I did. So what does that tell you? I'm ready to go again. So we gonna see as the tables tables turn, but girl, when I looked over to my right, apparently um, one of my neighbors, it was his 25th birthday. He was turned up or whatever. He was having a party, and then late on that night, about 11, 12 o'clock, um, another neighbor across had said, "Girl, is y'all out here? Is y'all out here smashing?" He's like, "No, bro." They was going back and forth. It was just shut up, phone. They was going back and forth, going out. It was like 11, 12 o'clock at night. I'm looking at them. They look like they ain't got no clothes on. They got on, you know, garments and stuff, just like bed wear. So I was like, I don't understand what's going on. If it was me, if I saw them, I probably would have not said anything. I probably would just said, hey, like, let me go back in the house. Or, but I don't, I don't see the issue with somebody who, like, hey, girl, it's at 12 o'clock. I'm on my patio. I don't want to see that. Like, if you, like, you have to understand you stay in an apartment complex. We share space. You need to be respectful. And honestly, 11, 12 o'clock at night is a little too early to be out here bumping the, um, Bumping and grinding outside. You should be there at two or three o'clock. Don't ask me how I know. But great was a mess. I can't wait to move. I can't wait. But um, what else I got to talk about? Um, yes, we lost the legend Alice Trebek, um, the host of Jeopardy for the last thirty something years. He was been hosting Jeopardy before I was born. So he passed away. Um, and I was watching some of the videos and stuff of people being amazed by him and. You know how they responded to him once he re revealed that he was, um, you know, I think living with cancer. I, Alice Trebek was a very influential person. He was very, very sweet, and um, I'm just, I'm just sad to hear that. It's just 2020 has been a long year. I don't know why some folks seem to think that because January 1st, 2021, gonna come and she gonna close the door like Miley Cyrus. Girl, I don't know. This might be the new normal. Just hell on earth. Um, but it's gonna be hell on earth. If y'all, if that, if that orange menace turn around and, and assume office again, I'm telling you now, I'm telling you that now it's gonna be hell on earth, cause baby, I, no ma'am, no ma'am, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna put up with it. I'm not. I would be in the streets for real, for real, for for real. Um, but what else is going on? Speaking of that, Dan Jones was out here crying, crying. Did y'all see that? He was like, oh. it was just too much. A lot of folks said, well, I felt emotional too. I, no, ma'am. First of all, there, uh, I'm not going to get into that. Fan Jones is one of the fakest people I have ever seen on TV. He always does this emotional stuff to appeal to white people. He always does this fake emotional stuff like, care about my life. It reminds me of that little black boy who be singing, I just want to live. I am not interested in singing and dancing and crying and showing that I am human to white folks to ask them to stop killing me. I'm not interested in that. And I don't like to see it. I don't like it at all. And I'm just gonna do a video explaining why I don't like that little song and that, and that boy and why it's just getting on my nerves. I might do a whole video on this shit because it's getting on my nerves. But Van Jones on there crying and doing all that and white folks do not care. They do not care. And you was out here working with his administration and then you use this 
where I was out here getting black folks free, da da da. Find other ways. There are other black women that are out here getting black folks free, going other routes to get them through. So, but you you can't be kissing the ring and then be out here like I'm kissing the ring to save folks. No, ma'am. They are using you with your dumb ass. Like they're using you. Don't be trying to shield yourself with folks who live in the prisons. You should not even be like I just Van Jones is just just the the. And Van Jones says all this stuff about white folks and what, like he says all these things just to turn around and marry another pilgrim. Girl, make it make sense for me. Uh, moving on swiftly professionally, and it was some good news. Monique got her um, Ivy Park box and she looked amazing. I love that. I love that for Monique. Monique, you look sickening, girl. You look good. I'm so glad to see Monique get her little Ivy Park box. I was like, yeah. Like she was moving around. Like, yeah. Y'all know I love Monique. Oh, I stand for me some Monique. Hopefully one day I get a chance to have a conversation with her. Yes, we're gonna hold it. Yes. But um, I'm gonna end this on Kenya Moore posted a picture of her um, and Mark Daly in the bed. Girl, it's a whole storyline, a whole scheme that they came up with. Girl, Kenya, we don't care about you and Mark Daly. We know you're trying to spend stuff to have a storyline. I'm actually like burnt out on it. I'm really burnt out on it. Housewives probably coming back. December something. I don't know what Kenya doing. Speaking of Housewives, did I drag Candy yet? Let me finish dragging Candy. Candy ass was mad because a Chick-fil-A employee did not say my pleasure when they gave her her chicken sandwiches. And she posted on social media making a joke about it, and they ate her ass up on Twitter as they should. Like, leave working class folks alone. Your ass is worth a million damn dollars. Leave them folks alone. Like, even if it was a joke, you don't get the joke. That's, the, that's what you get for being rich. You don't get the joke. You don't get the joke, like clown folks. Like, since it's tired, they're working jobs in the middle of a pandemic for, for change. And you out here like candy. You can't be out here candy factory. You can't be out here talking about nobody's chicken and nobody's pleasure. Pleasure and chicken should not nowhere be in your in your vocabulary. The, the times I went to um, Old Lady Gang and the food good sometimes and the food not good and it's overpriced and, 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 the, and the flow stink and you don't have the best service there, like candy, you cannot be out here dragging folks and making a joke until you get old lady together. Oh, get old lady game together. You charging damn near $25 for some damn salmon that your ass probably got from damn, not even Costco, probably Sam's. You buying a wholesale and, and jacking the price up and offering us a little bit of size. If you don't go sit down candy factory, I can't be candy have the nerve or the audacity to, to have chicken and pleasure in the same conversation. Like candy, you didn't piss me off. I'm like candy. Then she tried to do a video and backtrack and say, well, you know what? It was supposed to be a spicy chicken sandwich. I got regular chicken sandwich. And I'm on my candy. You, you don't need to be worried about no two, three dollar chicken sandwich. You need to be worried about what the hell is going on with the chicken and old lady game. Because the last time I had it, it was dry as hell. It was dry as hell. Like the only thing that I had that was good there was the devil eggs. And I think the second time I went there, I think we had something else that was pretty good. I can't remember what it was. It's like some French toast, but candy. Everybody's dragging your restaurant because they said it's inconsistent. One of my friends who ate there before said he got food poisoning. So candy, keep chick food, keep it out, keep it out. Because ain't nobody going to old lady game because the food is good. They're going because they want to take a picture with you or with one of your aunties and they cute wigs. Uh, but that's all I got. <laughs> like that's all I got. Girl, tell me what y'all thought about all the topics today. I hope y'all are social distancing, washing y'all hands, and doing whatever y'all need to do to stay alert and stay alive. I love y'all. Until next time, I'll talk to you later on tonight. Bye. If you don't got that job, oh, what?